Hello YouTube, this is Puck. Today uh, I'm gonna make a video about how to hack BlueStacks um, to run on one gigabyte of memory. Many tablets these days they come with quad core processors and they have all sorts of you know uh, great things on board but they only have one gigabyte of memory. This will stop us from for instance using virtual uh, uh, operating systems such as BlueStacks. You know BlueStacks is running on top of Windows and even on top of Mac but you need at least one, uh, two gigabytes of memory to be able to do so. So if you have a tablet with only one gigabyte uh, of memory but a quad core processor, you know, it could also run BlueStacks in a fine way. Only problem is the installer, you know, it wants two gigabyte. So how to hack this thing so we can, you know, still install um, uh, blue stacks on tablets and machines with only one gigabyte of memory. That's what this video is about Okay, first of all, you will have to download the offline installer uh, Of blue stacks link will be in the description and you will need orca the MSI editor So I just downloaded orca. So I'm gonna open it now There it is um, you must wait, my friend. And we're gonna copy it to the desktop. And let's see if it runs. Because I downloaded the other version of Orca, but that one wasn't running. And let's see if this runs. Install it. This already looks kinda better run unlimited okay this installer is working so we're gonna do the whole thing so you can get the idea of what to do and how to do it so let's hit custom because we all always want to see what whatever they are like kind of installing well I think it's all good no spyware in here install here is the offline Installer of BlueStacks 145 megabytes. Here you can see it the Android player for Windows. Android player sounds kinda, yeah, yeah, it's an Android player, but it's also, yeah, I see it as, as an operating system. In fact, it's running on top, it's virtual, it's running a virtual Android. So, uh, Android player, app player sounds kinda cheap like something that is only running the apps but you know you get a complete android environment just as if you had an android tablet you know so i don't find that you know uh kind of like an app player app player is something yeah some window that whatever it's that but you know what i mean it's it looks fantastic that's what i'm trying to say so uh we will get another pop-up here asking us permission to do whatever that's why it's taking so long. In the meanwhile, we can go ahead and install Explorer. Or I mean uh, Firefox. That while that one is still uh, busy with thinking. some multitasking here peeps a multitask install well a multi install it's a multi install but the other installer is oh there it is there it is that was what I was waiting for and now Orca will also start the installer And I find it really useful to make this video because there are many people out there 
with these tablets and they can't run BlueStacks because uh, it demands 2 gigabytes of memory that is what it wants so you know we got to do something about it right peeps because we want this thing to run on them, on them beautiful Windows 8.1 and soon Windows 10 tablets mine is already Windows 10 and in my previous video you could uh, already see um, Android running just fine on uh, on the tablet but I'm always not such a big fan of that software I have a very popular video watched uh, 100k times or more but still you know uh, I'm not such a big fan of that software because uh, go away because um, it's not so stable as BlueStacks you know BlueStacks is so stable that it will even run uh, these uh, virtual uh, Skyfi and, and, and Robin you know these virtual assistants so that is really fantastic okay so now we installed Orca this one wasn't working so I'm gonna delete this delete boom yes and uh, let me click this and then you will see that all my icons will disappear you see that so now we're gonna right mouse click uh, the installer of BlueStacks and we're gonna say edit with Orca and here we say yes so there we are first of all gonna look for launch condition that's here you see that launch condition and uh, at the left side select all air physical memory is uh, 1024 that is this one you see that Well, just right mouse click or double click it and then uh, I'm gonna delete this option. Let me see how I'm gonna delete it. Maybe hitting delete. Yes. So now we will go to install uh, install execute sequence that is two steps above you see that peeps and up there check MSE signature check MSE signature that's here on top you see that And we also gonna delete this option. Delete. Okay, now we go to property. Property. And that should be here. Some steps below. And in property, we're gonna click on the true value of GL mode. True value of GL mode. Where is it? I don't see it. GL mode. Ah, here it is. GL mode. And we're gonna double click that one. And this we're gonna change in false. Remember to do this with, with caps. Huh? So with false and then now we're gonna go here on top and we're gonna hit save. Boom. Alright. And now we close it. And now this installer yeah will be able to uh, be installed on a tablet 
that has only one gigabyte of memory. Uh, so that is it peeps. More I cannot show you. And of course we have to see if this really works. So I'm gonna copy this file straight back to my little drive here. Let's open the drive and let's remove let's remove orca this blue stacks by the way i also have uh, i also have a blue stack here rooted i think somewhere have a rooted blue stack somewhere but I don't want to delete that one because I want to modify that one as well Orca Ubuntu Okido we can delete this empty empty so what we did now peeps, we did install a very fantastic, uh, or we did not install anything yet, we just fixed Bluestacks to, into a very fantastic uh, installer that will uh, yeah, be able to be installed on a Windows tablet that has only one gigabyte of memory so that's how to do it peeps if you think this video was cool uh, of course you must like subscribe and uh, yeah see you in my next video again let me know how this went for you uh, of course links will be in the description so go ahead download it uh, try it and let me know uh, if everything went right